Hey everyone, today we're talking about fall foliage. Let's botanize. It's that time of year again in New England when days are getting shorter, nights are getting cooler, and leaves are starting to change colors on the trees. Today we're going to be talking about how and why plants put on this dazzling display of color in the fall. The colors that we perceive in leaves are due to molecules that we call pigments, which selectively absorb or reflect different wavelengths of visible light. For most of the year, leaves are green, and that's due to a pigment called chlorophyll, which is involved in the process of photosynthesis. Interestingly, chlorophyll absorbs all wavelengths of visible light except green, which it reflects because it's not very useful for photosynthesis. This is why we perceive leaves to be green. During this time of year, trees are preparing to go dormant for the winter. As part of this process, trees are trying to absorb all of the nutrients they've put in their leaves throughout the growing season. This involves degrading chlorophyll and reabsorbing all of that energy that they've invested in those pigments. When chlorophyll is degraded, it actually reveals all of the pigments that were present in the leaf throughout this whole growing season. These are usually oranges and yellows. These orange and yellow pigments are called carotenoids. In contrast, the red pigments, called anthocyanins, haven't been present in the leaf throughout the entire growing season. Rather, they're actively synthesized through complex biochemical pathways. So that is how fall color develops. But why, evolutionarily, do trees do this? One hypothesis is that these red anthocyanins that are actively synthesized during the fall protect the leaves from excessive UV light as the tree is reabsorbing nutrients. Another hypothesis is that these red pigments are a warning signal to deter insect herbivores that may want to overwinter on the tree. In fact, these two hypotheses are not mutually exclusive, and one or both may be true depending on the species. This is still an active area of scientific investigation. 